I'm Marat from Emotion, HR professional, career strategist and coach. And today I'd like to share with you a few important details on ways to turn your telephone interview into a success. Phone interviews are often the first direct contact with a potential employer. For hiring managers, this call is a tool to shortlist the candidate list even further from the CV screening. Only the ones with a potential fit will make it to the face-to-face -face interviews. That's why you should take the telephone interview seriously, because this is your key to a potential future role you have applied for. The recruiters want to know if you are a match for the job based on your skills and capabilities. But even if you have outstanding qualifications and years of experience in the field, you can't guarantee your success unless you prepare. Use all the advantages that the phone interview offers. Be ready for the call. The phone interview allows you to have all the necessary information in front of you. Prepare the CV, the job description, all your notes about the company and your responses to interview questions. Be enthusiastic and smile. The tone of your voice is so important. There are no visual clues over the phone, so remember that your communication is a key. Smiling will change it and will make you sound more positive and energetic. It will also make you more confident and more enthusiastic. Standing up can also be helpful during the interview, since this typically gives your voice an upbeat and more entertaining tone. All of this will keep your interviewer engaged. Listen carefully and don't interrupt. Don't interrupt the interviewer. Listen carefully and wait until they finish. This call is not about you. Concentrate and listen to what they are saying and take notes. Many make the mistake of not retaining anything of what the recruiters tell about the company and the job due to being very nervous or anxious to speak. Remember, the recruiter can give you a lot of information, some of it crucial to adapt your answers properly. A short pause after questions gives you a chance to think what you are going to say rather than just rattling off whatever comes to your mind first. Don't feel uncomfortable to ask for clarification if you are not sure what the interviewer is asking. Be prepared to common questions and keep your notes ready. Have your answers ready for common job interview questions. Typical interview questions like, tell me about yourself, why do you want to work for us, why should we hire you, what are your strengths and your weaknesses, etc. can be asked for sure. If you are unsure what to reply, some of my other videos might help. Check them out. Having the job description, your notes and answers is very helpful, but keep it to the minimum and easily accessible. It shouldn't distract you from the conversation. The call will flow easier if you're not constantly pausing and desperately searching for an example. Keep your answers short and concise. Keep it brief and to the point. The more you talk, the more chances of losing the interviewer's attention you face. Listen to the questions and structure your answers so that they are clear and concise. Don't ramble, speak with confidence. If there is a moment of silence, the interviewer is most likely writing down what you are saying, certainly not waiting for you to talk non-stop. Ask your questions and for the next steps. Prepare a few questions for the hiring manager and ask those. It could be anything that genuinely interests you and that is related to the company or the role. Also ask what is the next step in the hiring process and offer to provide any additional information that might help them in deciding. A few red flags to avoid. Don't eat, chew gum, or smoke during your call. Don't talk about money or starting date unless you are asked about it. Don't be rude or negative with your responses. It might sound so obvious, but you wouldn't believe how many candidates ruin their chances by coming across unpleasant or irritated on the phone. Try using the recruiter's name during the call after they introduce themselves. 
This will show that you are professional and observant. Your goal is to set up a face-to-face -face interview. At the end of your conversation, after having thanked the interviewer for their time, let them know that it would be a pleasure to meet them in person. Thanks for watching. Now go get that job you want. For more tips on professional and personal growth, subscribe to my channel.